Hello all MRBers and welcome to another video with me, Mike McRock, one half of the MRB Wrestling Review Show. And right now I'm going to do a little different video. This is a topic of discussion kind of thing. And it's going around now that ever since the podcast came out, or still call that Paul Heyman as his guest, you know, they kind of planted the seeds of a potential match between Stone Cold and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32. Now, without even thinking about the aspects going into a match like that, you would think, hmm, Stone Cold versus Lesnar. Nostalgia? First time ever. Well, not really, but first time ever at a WrestleMania. That would seem pretty cool in theory if you don't think about it, but the, it's one of those things where you, the more you think about it, the more you realize that maybe this is not the greatest way or not even the best thing for both of these guys who actually face each other at this point in time in their careers. Because let's face it, Stone Cold, he's way past his prime. He had broken neck, he had surgery, and who knows what his health is really like. Is he really 100%? And if he's going into a match with a guy like Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar could kick his ass. You, mean you, could, you could put anyone in the ring with Brock Lesnar, he will kick their ass. But that, that's just wrong, I think. In terms of uh, health and conditioning and all that other stuff, you know, being 100% physical ready to do a match, to pull off a match... With Brock Lesnar, I mean, only a very few people can. Guys like The Undertaker, guys like Kurt Angle, guys like, who, who know, you, you can name anyone that faced Brock Lesnar in the past that actually had a good match with them. And you would say, yeah, they were actually in good condition at that time, but someone like a Stone Cold, it's really hard to take that match seriously because of Stone Cold's health, because that's really up in the air. And sometimes WWE is known to do things years too late. I mean, there's another rumor going around that The Undertaker could face Sting at WrestleMania 32. Again, that's something that you can argue that this should have happened years ago. Much like Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold. I mean, this would have been better if Stone Cold was in his prime and, uh, and uh, Brock Lesnar was actually red hot as a full-time guy in the WWE. Now, with all that taken into account I think that if you really really think about it um, what does Steve Austin really gain from facing someone like Brock Lesnar and what's Brock Lesnar gain from facing someone like a Steve Austin because you're not really getting a return from de defeating the Undertaker in his streak so I don't think that's the best utilization for a Brock Lesnar and if Stone Cold were to wrestle someone, he would want to wrestle someone I think would get a, a good heel reaction from the crowd. And the way that they booked Brock Lesnar, when the fans all of a sudden cheered for him after destroying John Cena at SummerSlam, I mean, the, the dynamics of that match could be really off. And you also have to take into account that Stone Cold would want to wrestle someone maybe to put over someone. Uh, someone in the younger generation kind of um, uh, thing. Where he's facing someone maybe like a Dean Ambrose or a Bray Wyatt or a Seth Rollins or a Roman Reigns or anyone of that nature. You know, the younger crowd to put them over but still in the same time put himself over as that, you know, all around uh, working good guy. So, I don't think this is the greatest match that the WWE has thought of. I know they planted the seeds. Are they going to go there? Who knows just yet. But, I'm curious to see, what do you think of this match? Uh, is this 10 years too late? Is this the best utilization for both of them? To all you MRBers out there who are watching this video, leave a comment or any questions or let's get this uh, discussion going. Is this the right call, Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 32, or are there better options? 
What do you think? Feel free to leave those comments in the comment section below. Make sure to follow MRB Wrestling on Twitter. Make sure to like us on Facebook at the Make Rock a Bolt Wrestling Review Show. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button down below this video as well. And to all you viewers watching, get plenty of rest and always do your best.